Hi, I'm Lisa from The Homeschool Den. This video post is about homeschool science in the elementary and middle school years. A friend of mine said that her sister is overseas and is considering homeschooling next year. She is a second grader and a sixth grader, but she just wasn't sure where to start with science. We have so much fun with science in our homeschool that I thought I would create this quick video to share some of the fun science possibilities. First, you might want to check out the free science checklist I created. It's over at homeschoolden.com forward slash science checklist. This is a list of the units I hope the kids cover in elementary and middle school, and it includes more than 50 topics, human body system, plants, animal classification, cells, chemistry, astronomy, and on and on. We'll probably revisit some of these units several times from several different angles over the years because I have three kids. So for example, we've done rocks and minerals already, but my youngest was four the last time we covered that. LD said he remembers all of, all of the, going over all of this material, but my youngest really didn't. So we need to cover that again. We'll go into more depth for my oldest and we'll review the basics for my youngest. It's always good review for my older two, even if they remember those activities. Let me share just a few of the units we've covered in the last few years. Simple machines, earth science, astronomy, the water cycle and weather, and the layers of the atmosphere, chemistry, and actually we've covered this a number of different ways, talking about atoms and molecules, talking about acids and bases, chemical reactions, the periodic table, and then there's biology. You can cover that from all different kinds of angles too. Classification, like vertebrates and invertebrates, the classification of animals, biomes and habitats, biological relationships like mutualism and immensalism. And right now, we're finishing up oceans. So we've studied salinity and currents, tides, ocean zones, animal adaptations like bioluminescence and things like that. Then the next question you probably have is how do you find the books and resources to cover these topics, right? You can go to the library and just pull out tons of books on that topic, or you can purchase various homeschool curriculums. There are so many available. We've used Real Science for Kids and a couple of others, but honestly, there are so many to choose from. You'll just have to do some research. You can also use the internet to help you prepare. Homeschoolers and science, science teachers have shared all kinds of amazing experiments. And of course, you can browse through dozens and dozens of our science posts if you visit homeschoolden.com forward slash science unit. We also have a number of packets available at our blog. These include various science worksheets and hands-on activities that we've included in our units. I hope this has been a helpful introduction for how you can cover science in your homeschool in the elementary and middle school years. This video post is about homeschool science in the elementary and middle school years.